All right. Hey, uh, I'm Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about one D&D. So on August 18th, Chris Perkins changed the world. He announced there's just one, Dun one Dungeons and Dragons. And that means if you understand the words Dungeons and Dragons and you understand the word one, that means, in my humble opinion, that means every he, everything's backward compatible and everything's forward compatible. And that means that you're going to run into this, okay? This, so April says, hey, this is my dun this is my dungeon master guide for this game, okay? But one dungeon master one one dungeons and dragons means that her player Becky can choose any player uh, player handbook she wants. There's just one, right? The April doesn't have the ability anymore to say, you know, that's the wrong edition. Editions don't exist anymore. There is just one dungeons and dragons. So Becky has the right to bring this player's handbook you know, from, from the 2010s to the table. Because there's just one player handbook. It's just had different information in it through the years, right? You could use this one, and you'll be able to use the one in 2023 comes comes about. It's not a new edition. It's just simply an echo of the same player's handbook we've been playing with some, since the 70s. There's just different material in it, right? So, Becky comes forward, and she says, mm -hmm. hey. I don't know that one. <laughs> uh, and she says, hey, I'm playing a half-orc, and I'm going to play a half-orc ranger, right? And this player's handbook says she could do it. But this Dungeon Master Guide, take a look there, it says, you can't play a half-orc, you cannot play a half-orc ranger. You can't do that, right? So now April has to make, April is in the position of doing this. As a referee, the DM acts as a mediator between the rules and the player. That's what it says in the Dungeon Master Guide. Right, so she has to mediate this, and she's so she's saying, "Hey, in this world that I'm running, there are no half orc rangers. So what does she do? Right? So one, it presents this beautiful thing that Dungeons and Dragons does. What happens? Right? April doesn't know, and Becky doesn't know because they each didn't know what book would be brought to the table. Right? Now the person who decides is April. She needs to mediate those rules, and so what she can do is she could say. Uh, yes, of course, you're a half-orc ranger. Oh, but when you go to the stream and you look in the river, your face is different. You've seen your, you've seen your face in a mirror a of times, but when you go to pick out the cool water and drink it, you see your actual human face. And the half-orc you think you are was always an illusion. Right? Or, right, um, it comes later in the game, and uh, and basically, um, it's determined that, yes, that was correct. There are no half-orc rangers. And the only reason this half-orc ranger allowed here, right, but not allowed here, is because of the multiverse, right? And so this half-orc ranger comes from a far realm, a different multiverse location where it did exist, right? And that's the, that's the awesome part of the multiverse. And this is... This is the delight and the wonder and the awesomeness that is one D and D. This uh, Dungeon Master Guide with this player's handbook, and you as a player don't know what's coming in, and you as a Dungeon Master don't know what's coming in. Bang! Dungeons and Dragons is new and it's fresh and it's exciting and it's a little dangerous, just the way Gary built it. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.